Well, welcome, Ami. I am so honored to have you on my podcast today. So uh, maybe you could say hello to the guests and share a little bit about what is going on in your life. Hello. Um, well, tomorrow is my 11th birthday. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is indeed his 11th birthday tomorrow, and we are so excited. And I think Ami is the perfect guest to talk about happy mind. So, Ami, on the topic of happy mind, share with me what feelings you feel when you experience happiness. Where do you feel it in your body? Mm -hmm. Well, I I think about it and I I get excited sometimes when mm -hmm. I'm happy. And what kind of um, opportunities in your life come into, or what kind of conditions come into your life where you often think, wow, this has triggered some peace? Maybe we were talking about that earlier. What makes you feel peaceful? Um, uh, maybe being in the pool or meditating. Meditating, or when you're in the pool. You know, that's interesting you should say that because one thing that you and I love to do together or through a baby is we love to swim. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And what I feel is when I'm inside of the water, it feels like meditation. Really? Yes. What does it feel like to you when you meditate? Mm, it feels really quiet, kind of like sleeping, but you're not asleep. Mm -hmm. And... How does it feel in your heart when you meditate? Uh, hmm. Peaceful. Peaceful. Okay. And how is that feeling different from when other things we were talking about in terms of happiness, when you feel excited or certain conditions? How is that emotion feeling different than the peace? Well, it's more being excited and happy can sometimes mean like things being busy a lot of things happen okay so when you are happy you're aware though that things are the energy is a little bit ex exciting mm -hmm. but it's still bringing you j joy and happiness now sh share three things that you feel aside from peace like meditation that bring you happiness mm. in life. Disneyland. Disneyland. And how does that make your body feel when you're at Disneyland? Excited and tired. Tired? Oh. <laughs> Tell me why you often feel tired when we're at Disneyland. You, you walk around all day. Oh, yeah. Well, Omni knows that I tend to get a little bit cranky at times <laughs> when I walk around so much. <laughs> But I try not to, but it is hard to walk around like that. Um, so name a few other places where you feel that level of happiness. Maybe mm, like when I'm playing with my friends. Playing with your friends. And that's going to happen tomorrow, right? Yeah, at my birthday party. Yeah. Earlier you were sharing that your birthday is often a time when you feel happiness. Yeah. And it's around Halloween. It's around Halloween, so a lot is happening. Yeah. Omni was looking through my phone photos, and he found a photo of him in a little pumpkin costume. On, on my first Halloween. On his first Halloween. He was born just a couple of days before. Two days before Halloween. Two days before Halloween. So that's another time when you feel a little bit happy, right? Yeah. Is it the candy, the costumes? What's What's... The happiness coming from. Mm -hmm. Well, my birthday and Halloween are at the same time, and that's that makes it feel like one big excitement. One big excitement. In general, though, on the as your mom, I've observed that you tend to smile. Uh -huh. You often are really friendly with people, uh -huh. and you generally seem like a happy kid. So, what makes you so happy? Mm, I don't know. I think I'm usually just in a good mood. In a good mood. And let's say, what what do you do? 
Sorry, Omni um, has a little bit of cough, as do I, so my my voice is a little bit hoarse. I wanted to ask you, though, about <laughs> those emotions and feelings that when you feel that you are able to maintain a good mood in general, what is it that you do, let's say, if, if something doesn't feel good? Do you ever feel like unhappy? Mm -hmm. Everyone does. What what happens um when you feel unhappy? Um depends what happens, but you're just not smiling. Oh. Which puts you in a bad mood. Because yeah. when you're smiling, it makes you feel better. You know, Yogananda, whose photo is behind us, he often says that expressing your emotions through a smile can also make your whole body feel happy because you're sending a signal to your brain. Why don't you smile for me right now? <laughs> That's more of a laugh, <laughs> right? But do you, do you agree? Do you feel like sometimes just even the simple act of putting a smile on your face helps you feel happier? Yes. What else makes you be able to shift into a feeling of happiness? I'm not sure. Like just doing something fun. Fun? Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you mention meditation, I don't know if a lot of kids your age meditate. So maybe you can describe to other people how that feeling to you it's sometimes I think you still find it fun. Is that right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. That's great. Now describe that feeling though. When when I've seen you sit in meditation, you seem really happy. <laughs> you are happy. Peaceful. Peaceful. What what does it feel just having your eyes closed? Um, quiet. Quiet. I've noticed that since you were a child that you actually. <coughs> <coughs> Since you're really small, you actually prefer being in the places of, when it's quiet. Mm -hmm. So does that quietness make you feel happy as well? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're saying that being quiet and also being around people that lift you up it is a source of happiness. Uh-huh. Okay. And what if somebody was looking unhappy and it was a friend? How would you try to help them? Um, well, I just walk up to them, sit, just sit down with them and ask what happened. Try to cheer them up, like do something funny. Yeah, I, I know. I remember one time on these teachers sent me a message that a young girl was on the playground really upset and Omni bent over and asked her how he could help her, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've talked about Disneyland and places that can bring you happiness or excitement. We've also talked about meditation mm -hmm. and also the act of smiling. Tell me what else you have in your life that you believe brings you, I would go beyond happiness. Maybe joy. I'm not sure. You're not sure? So, Omni, that one time at school when you recognized a girl was sad and you tried to talk to her, it seemed like that you took a moment to understand her happiness and you were mindful of that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that? that helps other people just understanding what their feelings are. Understanding someone's feelings can help you know what to do in a situation and how to help someone mm -hmm. and make them feel better. Well, good. And have you seen yourself um, in those situations at school more often now that you're aware of other people's feelings? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. and. Around the holidays, what kind of things do you feel help kind of bring the happiness to other people mm -hmm. when it's our to 
we receive but we can do, bring joy or happiness mm -hmm. like giving gifts to someone yeah giving gifts and you and i've often talked about the fact that um happiness is not just about stuff right mm -hmm. so beyond stuff what kind of things do you feel is in your life that it's not about material stuff or going to disneyland but brings you joy and happiness mm. we have like being being with my family like in christmas is fun and i and i can do a lot of things yeah and i know that you and your daddy are very close what kind of stuff do you do with him that makes you happy um Hmm. Well, since it's like near Halloween, we like to go trick or treating around the neighborhood. So spending time with him mm -hmm. and doing things that are fun. Yeah. And another thing that Omni and his dad are really fond of is Star Wars. Wow. Does that make you happy? Yeah. You do? Okay. It does. That's really great. Now, Omni. If you had to share three tips during the holidays for maybe someone who doesn't have much or who is lonely, but you'd like to give them some support or tips on how to stay happy, what would you suggest? Um, well, just be having fun and like with your friends mm -hmm. and that would that that would make you feel good even if you don't have much yes and <clears throat> maybe sharing what you do have with others mm -hmm. one thing that we do often in our home is we like to cook Ami and i yeah. and we like to share extra food with friends and family mm -hmm. and that brings everyone joy right mm -hmm. now so sharing spending time with loved ones or friends. And what's one thing that you wish more people knew about meditation in terms of how that brings joy and happiness? Mm -hmm. Well, it'd be better. Well, I think people would be, well, more happy mm -hmm. if they meditated because they would have pe peace yeah. and they be bringing themselves closer to God. Yeah. Why don't you describe to me, maybe you can even show on camera. You don't have to like fold your feet since we're on camera, but maybe just show on camera how you would meditate. Just um, kind of walk someone through. Well, you would cross your legs or have your feet flat on the ground and put your hands on your thighs just flat. You just close your eyes. So you're seeing your palms facing up. Yeah, your palms facing up. Now look at the camera. Maybe you can lean in and show with your eyes what you would do next with your gaze and walk us through how you're, what you're feeling. Yeah, it's right here in the spiritual eye. You look at, up at it, like right here. Like look right here and then close your eyes. Okay. Go ahead and show us on camera for those who may not have seen it. And you could talk out loud while you uh, close your eyes. Okay. Well, both my eyes are just looking up at the spiritual eye, and you just look for the light. Okay. How does the light make you feel? Uh, warm. Warm? Mm -hmm. And what does the light look like? Um, Usually just kind of like a candle in the distance. Candle in the distance. And I've seen you sometimes tell me sometimes when we do certain chants mm -hmm. that even if you can't sleep it's helped you sleep better mm -hmm. and it makes you feel happy through the night yeah it, it helps me um, fall asleep and just be peaceful and happy mm -hmm. and do you think it also helps with concentration and focus at, in different areas of life yeah it, it would help you focus because you like ca completely calm yourself, and then you can focus on things yeah. instead of just being busy on your mind. So often you can't focus on one thing. That's wonderful. Um, I really love, and you brought that point up earlier that 
while it's fun to go to Disneyland and it's exciting, mm -hmm. then it's also fun to go inside of your spiritual eye and your heart to feel peace. Mm -hmm. Well, for those of you who are listening, I really encourage kids to start young for meditation. And on the topic of happiness, I think we were able to get some really nice information from my 11-year-old. Almost. Almost. Tomorrow, as we mentioned earlier, is 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 his birthday. And I, as a mom, feel happiness around this little boy. Okay, well, on that note, we will say our goodbyes for today. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you, do you want to say anything else to the audience who are listening to Omni Mindfulness? No. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great um, day, everyone. And we will bring Omni back in the near future.